Howdy folks, welcome to episode 63. We're going to go ahead and do our run down to the other thingy and get our... Here, let's... Yeah, this is... Okay, it's detached. We've got our brakes on there. So yeah, we're going to head down to the other place and grab our other four thingies. I'm still not sure if the, I should take that or if I should just take the... Uh, the Betsy, you know? Let's go like, um... Alright, I love how I keep forgetting to look up the whistle codes, just... <laughs> you know, so that I can know what I'm doing. Why would I want to do that, right? Okay, and our switch is not set. So we need to set this switch this way. All right, and then, uh, yeah, all these switches are backwards. Okay, do we have, do we have, wow. I <laughs> just totally freaked out on the screen. All right, see, I have this, I have this attached, but it's not working now. Okay, and I'm not sure why it stopped. It stopped working last time. So we're gonna need to um, do the run ahead and flip all the switches thing. Okay, and that one needs to go there. This one needs to go. I hope I don't get stuck if I can't, if I can't, uh, whatchamacallit. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this, yeah, you know what? We're going to put this, um, let's go like this, brakes, and we'll, we'll whistle because we stopped. Okay, so we're going to go like this and like this, and we're just gonna put the engine down here. We're just gonna sit it aside for the moment is what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go to the other place. So, to go like this, we'll back up here. We do have fuel, oh, I guess our fuel is going down. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because we're not gonna be driving this for a minute anyway. But we just wanna get this out of the way and then we're going to go down to the other end of the map and grab, I think, Betsy and use Betsy to bring the cars down here. So that way we don't have to... Um, keep, you know what, let's get a little bit... We don't want to be in the foul, right? This is a good, this is a good parking spot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're going to go down to... I'm not sure what it did but I think it has something to do with, I, um, here, let's see. I think it has something to do with me turning off the map or whatever, like hitting the X button on there. So I'm not sure if it's per permanently screwed up or what, but let's go like this. You know what we could do too, is we could buy a Betsy. We're gonna have to buy a Betsy and bring it here or buy a Betsy and bring it here right either way I think we'll just go here and we'll see if we can get that to happen all right now it's it blacks out every time I <laughs> switch it's it's not on my screen it's just it takes uh, which we'll call it it takes the uh, OBS a minute the recording software a minute to figure that out okay so and we're gonna go like this all right and then we're gonna bring this down whoa wow that was neat <laughs> I don't know what that was but that was kind of interesting <laughs> all right <laughs> okay so where are we yeah you know what let me see do we want to go on that track no we don't because well, yeah, actually, that'll work, too. All right. Let's put it on this track. And is this going to work now, or is it just going to launch? I don't know why it launched. That was weird, man. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to head on 
this track down to the um, the other place. I don't think we have any switches here to worry about. So yeah, we'll just run down and uh, move this so it's not doing its complaining right into the... I <laughs> moved my phone away from the mic. It's only when I sit it underneath the mic that it's guaranteed to to, uh, <laughs> to go off and make a bunch of noise. Okay, yeah, because we... Is it a car on the track right there? How did we end up with a steak car on the track right here? That is a weird place for it, isn't it? Okay. I'm trying to think of where we should put that. Um, that is weird, because I'm assuming that it like ended up on... There's two of them. Did I drop those somewhere because I didn't have enough strength to pull them up a hill or something? Huh. Okay, and those are for... Um, you know what? We're just going to bring them down with us to the other end. So let's go like this. Let's go out the front here. We're going to hook those up. Make sure the brakes are on one of these. These are hooked up. Okay. All right. That's, yeah, that's odd. I don't remember placing them there, but I mean, it's been a long time, but I, I would think I would remember something like that. Let's go like this. We can move out a little bit more. And there we go. And we'll put our thingy on here as soon as it hits. There we go. Okay, then we take the brake off and we should be good to, to go. Alright, let's do this. Sorry, that sounded like two and a half whistles. <laughs> Was that right? Alright. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let this coast because it does have more than enough there we go. It does have more than enough uh, hill to get going. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, fly off the tracks or anything. Yeah, I need to figure out why it's not um, bringing up the map on here. I'll have to fix that. It might just be as simple as a reboot. I might have to reinstall RRO Extended or something to get the preferences to reset or whatever. But. I'm sure there's some something that happened because when you hit F1, it brings up that the map, and then when you if you hit Escape or something like that, it brings it to that tiny little thing down here. It it makes it makes it into that the little the little resize window or whatever. It turns it into that instead. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to go down here, and then we're gonna have to see what the map looks like whoops close that close that I need to see what our map looks like what our switches look like on this okay I think we're I think we're good on the switches yeah see we can even put these back with the other 20 something right okay this might black out again yeah it's <laughs> there we go I just need to change. It's doing desktop ca capture so that I could put other windows on top of it. So I just need to switch that out. As if you care, right? And we are good on those. So we just need to get past this switch. And then I'm trying to remember where those, what those cars are. I think what we can do is we can go like this. We're gonna put this switch and then we're gonna come up here. There we go. I always forget to whistle when I stop. It's, it's just a thing. It's the new protocol, right? <laughs> we'll call it the lift protocol. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a movie, right? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna flip this switch, and then we're gonna come back this way. Whoops, we stopped, and then we're gonna go. 
All right. Let's go like this. We're going to get that one move in. We're going to flip the switches that we need to flip so that we can get out of there. That would really suck if I get that thing running and then I run onto this and get trapped. Okay, so yeah, see this one's the wrong way. So we definitely need to flip that one. And then this one's going to go onto the siding. We want it to go onto the siding, don't we? Yeah, okay, cool. So this should be coming out this way. Right there. <laughs> yeah, we can put these back on the thing, then we're not dragging them all the way across the map with the other cars. Because I think six maybe... No, I think Betsy can carry six empty cars up a pretty significant hill, actually, if I remember correctly. Because then weren't we able to take six empty cars up to the coal mine or whatever, or the, the, not the coal mine, the, the iron mine? All right, we're going to turn that off. We'll hit our brakes here in a second. As soon as we get past this. There we go. All right. And... Nope, that's that. Where's the whistle? There we go. Okay, so we want to flip this one. We're going to take a left. All right, should I start calling it like the starboard and... <laughs> should I start calling it the port and starboard side? <laughs> oh, the trainers would hate that, wouldn't they? Because you know that's what they're called. People who like trains are called trainers. <laughs> We've had this discussion before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll get these put away, and then we can deal with other problems. Let's go like this. We're going to put a pin on this so that we can lock it up with the other one when we meet, right? I like that we put this thing over the top to our bridge overpass. I like that we put up the overpass so that we can park these on this long siding without having to worry about being stuck in the intersection or without blocking the intersection. That was worthwhile. The only problem is that we can't really make like a, it'd be cool to make like a clover leaf or something like that. Okay, almost there. We can, we can wait on the brakes. I just don't want to bounce everything. Yeah, I don't know why this one ejected off the track either. Yeeted. Isn't that the term for it? There we go. Alright. Hook it up. Alright, which one of these has the brakes on? It must be the other end. Okay. Well, we're going to put the brake on this one too. And we'll disconnect. All right, so let's go back this way. We stopped, so we're going to do that. Okay, cool. We'll come back to here. And get our other cars, trucks, things. <laughs> Or other thingies. And like I said, we're going to have to get out and do all these switches. Alright, I could do them in the map on the other screen too if, if I really want to. Okay. Because I think that other siding, I'll have to check. Was that, was that a 1 and then a 2? Is it like one for no and two for yes, and then when the person beeps twice, it's like, yes, yes. <laughs> or one for yes, two for no, that's what it was, and then when they beep twice, it's like, yes, yes. So no matter what they do, they get misinterpreted. All right. Let me check this. Let me check the map again. 
our switches are lined up. I need to flip that one. Because then we can grab our cars. Our cars are down here, right? They are down here, aren't they? I thought they were. Didn't we have a couple of them that we put on here? Where'd they go? Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought they were down here. Log cars? Didn't we have them right down here? Oh, that's gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, did we have... I thought we had log cars down here. Sitting down here. They were on the map somewhere. Alright, let's go to the map. Whoops. Go to the map. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go... <laughs> we're gonna go rolling... I like my curve here. Inside the thing. We're gonna go rolling stock. Are they up here maybe? Is that where I left them? You know what? I came all the way down here with the Betsy in order to <laughs> to grab the log cars and then they're up here anyway that's those are the lumber these are the flat cars the log cars <laughs> all right well we needed to move those other two anyway so what we can do is we can come up here let's flip no let's leave that switch because we can put her back there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up this way as long as we're in here. Whoops. Close that. As long as we're in here, we're going to flip all these switches so that we can go back up and grab those two. It's just those two cars? I thought there were more than that. Those are the box cars. These are the, the other one, the tier three. Okay, so we need to do this. And then this one needs to be moved out of the way too. So let's teleport here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, get this out of the way here. Come in. There we go. All right. So we're going to disconnect these because these are on the siding anyway. So we're going to put on the brakes. Put on the... No, leave the brakes off. Disconnect. Put on the brakes. Disconnect. And we'll leave the pin in there. And then what we can do is go this way. And we want to go forward. And our switch is the right way. Okay, yeah. This way. There we go. We don't want to use up all of our pressure. <laughs> the wiggly track. Come out here a little bit more. There we go. And then we can push this back. Break. All right. And then we're going to, um, whoops, wrong way on the switch here. I need to grab some of these logs too so that I can put them back in Betsy. All right, and then we're gonna, um, Reverse. There we go. I don't know if it's going to throw the log when I do this. I don't think it will. We'll find out. There we go. If I get out and I don't have any logs left in my hand, then I know. <laughs> then I'll know, right? Okay, we'll park this up in front of this. It's a good spot for it. Okay, whoops, break. Okay, so that's all ready to go. We just need to go down to get Betsy. And we can, uh, yeah, well, I think we'll have to put the fuel in first. I think. Let's go like this. Or we can do this. Yeah. There we go. All right. Rerail. Porter. We're going to put the porter back here. And I'm trying to think of which way I want to do this. I think that's right. It's not super important, but yeah, it'll help. Okay. So, let's go forward. Forward. 
caution because I'm an idiot driving. All right. Uh, caution, morons ahead. All right. We're gonna take a. a we're gonna go to the port here. <laughs> and then we should have all the switches lined up. We should be good for that. I thought we had more than two cars. I really thought we had more than two of those cars. I think it's because we had the other two on the side of the thing. Ooh, there's our map. Our map is back. Ah, ah. Our map was back there for a second. Did you see that? It was up there? Can I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can bring up the map. Sorry for all the blank screen moments there. <laughs> Should I make that the screenshot <laughs> for the episode, the thumbnail? We'll make that the episode thumbnail, blank screen. Nah, that's nothing's gonna beat the cat with her paws on my head. <laughs> like hold still. <laughs> uh. She's an awesome cat. If she were a person, she'd be an absolute jerk. But as far as cat's personality goes, she's awesome. Did that? Huh. Apparently the other thing still had to focus. Whoa! Nope. Okay. Okay, when I hit F1, it tries to give focus back to the other thing, which isn't there. That's weird. Okay. And then, oh, you know what? I think I need to, yeah, I need to re-change this switch. So we're going to get out, and when we get out, I'm going to try see if I can do this. So we're going to jump out of the thing. Let me see what happens when I hit F1. And, whoops. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to do it. Okay. Now I have to figure out it's some, some setting or registry entry or whatever. Let's double check and make sure this didn't come out because I left the area. See, it did. Remember, we left the... See, I'm not crazy about that. <laughs> In that way, I'm not crazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not crazy. I'm just saying I'm not crazy about that. In that, In that uh, particular case. <laughs> not hallucinating that those are... Oh, that's a little fast, isn't it? Not really. Okay, so we want to take this break off. Yep. And then I think we might even go down and buy a couple of those cars. Reverser. Um. All right, and then which way do we need to go? Which way do we need to go in order to come back? I think it's just, uh, yeah, we just need to hit that one switch at the bottom of the hill. Okay. All right, let's go do that. Let's go hit that switch at the bottom of the hill and come back. I love that you can run because at least you can do that and you don't have to stop the train every five seconds. So we need to hit that one and then we'll need to hit this one and we can hope that the train just on its own coasts down the hill at a reasonable speed. This one and then we want both of these to go straight. Yep, okay, cool. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go meet our engine again. I mean, we could just wait at the bottom of the hill for it, right? Oh, did I get stuck? I got stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm not stuck. I can still teleport. I just can't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're just going to wait for it at the bottom of the hill. All right, so we want to buy locomotives flat car for logs yeah order and locomotives flat car order we're gonna buy two more of them close that so we can get to our thing there we go and locomotives Log steel pipe order. 
and let's yeah let's just do four of them log steel pipe order okay we got the we got the dough cool okay so and I think all of our switches are set up for this let's get this thing moving I think all of our switches are set up so let's get some more there we go there get some get some fire in there all right I never use those I'd love if we could use if they had controller support for this thing for various you know controllers and everything because I've got a um, three lever or three sliders to go with the throttle and the mixture and stuff and uh, yeah it's just three in and out plungers basically is all they are but I've got those for um, for flying the Cessna and it would be really cool to uh, to be able to use those for like the, the regulator the reverser and the brake or even the whistle, using one of those for the whistle to, to push the plunger in and out. That would be so cool. But yeah, having the throttle and stuff on there, that would be... That would make that would make driving it when you're standing on it, like in the first person... Because that's the thing, is like... I, and I've already gone over that a hundred times, where you have to look at your hand in order to use stuff, and it's like, you can't... <laughs> nobody ever does that. And it makes the gameplay really... suck. To be honest, it makes it suck when you have to look away from, you know, what you're looking at in order to look at, I'm looking at my hand, you know. Okay. So we'll stop and we'll put these on the track. I think we should be able to re-rail them right on the track that we're sitting on and then just pull them through. So we should be able to just do all that without having to do too much on the in the way of reloading and stuff and so yeah we're probably going to run long we're probably going to run like 45 minutes something like that 50 minutes today not that you can't tell that when you're <laughs> when you're coming up to the video right okay are we I think this switch is good it looks like it yeah it looks like it's leaning to the left okay switch is on our side so I think what we can do is I think this is a hill, and so I think we can sit at the bottom of this hill and have the cars come to us when we re-rail them. We might have to re-rail them twice, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, because this I think this is at the bottom of the hill. And we're going to hit the brakes here. All right. Okay, so we should be able to, let's do this. We're gonna put them on this side. And we're gonna go over here, re-rail. Can we fit it there? There we go. All right, and then this is gonna go like this. Whoops. And then re-rail this one see a little it'll let us put it where we want all right and then our I don't think that's a hill maybe that's flat it's really hard to tell over here all right I think it's flat right next to the thingy but it doesn't matter not that important. We can just put the brakes on and back up. Put the brakes on the last one and back up. So it shouldn't be that hard to, to get all these together. Alright. Last one. Okay, so everybody is set up. Let's get the brakes on this one. And then we'll take the brakes off of everybody else. 
that would be if it's not rolling downhill that would explain why they're not rolling downhill even if they're on a hill right okay nope they're not on a hill okay so we should be able to just back into this all right and there we go let's get these moving get them push in here I don't want to push too hard with this corner being here but that should be that should be sufficient so we're gonna go there 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 and there and then we should be able to take off the brakes all right and then everybody's brakes are off everybody's brakes are off that was a lot faster than I expected. I expected it to take like 15 minutes, right? Okay. Nope, nobody's got brakes on. All right, and let's go like this. And we're gonna go. All right, let's get these switches in case they need to be. That's good, okay. That switch is good. We're gonna wait until we get past that switch because this can be a tricky corner. I want to get as much momentum going as I can and then coast around the corner for the most part. There we go. Use our momentum to come around this corner instead of trying to drag everything around because that corner can be a little bit dicey, spicy. All right, cool. I think we're good. Okay. So then I just need to make sure that our next switch, and I'm sure we're going to have to switch that one down here. Down here we're going to have to do some switching. Yep. Okay. We're going to go like this. We're going to go along the inside. So we're going to come down this one. And then this is going to go this way. I think we want to go this way. And then this one is going to be that way okay all right I think that's how we're gonna do it so that we can turn the train around actually yeah we'll just bring the we'll we'll drop the cars there yeah okay I think I think we can do it we might have to put the cars on the siding here I'm trying to think of how I want to do that because we need to get the engine in front of, we need to get the uh, the other engine in front of these cars. We need to get all these behind it, right? So that we can push them back. Oh, that's going to be an adventure too, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Do I want to put them on this siding? Yeah, we'll put them on this siding. And then we'll move this engine out of the way. A little bit more. Let's stick these on this siding here. And then we can, um, is this a hill? Or are we level? We totally need a level on this. All right, or, you know, grade indicators along the side of the track or something. So we'll go like this, and we're going to stop here. And then we're going to put on the brakes on this car and disconnect. And then we're going to take this one back out of the way. And we'll leave it back over on this little area and the Y. There we go. Get out of the foul. Okay, so we've got that. Then we need to switch this switch again. And then 
we're going to need to go past these and come back. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go around. We're going to go around. So we're going to go left here. And then we're going to go that way. So yeah, we're going to come around these. We're going to back up into it. So we need to make sure we have a pin on this one. All right, and we'll put our brakes on. No, we don't need the brakes on that, that's fine. It's not too much of a crush on that. Okay, so we should be able to bring this puppy over past. All right, we need to put some fuel in. Let's get some fuel in this thing. There we go. All right. And then what we need to do is we need to go this way and all the way past that. Oh, brakes. That helps. We're going to go all the way past that and we're going to hook these up to the back of this. We're going to hook up those cars to the back of this. We don't have a pin in the way there or anything, do we? I think we do. It looks like there's a pin in there, so we're going to have to take that out before we get through all that. But yeah, we're going to back up into these, and then we can back these into the rest of them. So, that's the plan. And then that should allow us to have all of our log cars. And then I need to decide, are we going to do a push thing? Because we don't have a loop at both ends, so I guess it doesn't matter. As far as like going up to the logging camp and then looping back, does it matter if I loop back? Because I'm, I'm going to have to push them there or I'm going to have to push them back. I can't pull both directions. So I just need to decide which way I want to pull. Okay, and then we're going to take brakes off. get going here. I think that's the crest of the hill right there. And then this is either flat or a tiny bit of a downhill. I don't remember for sure. So we're gonna need to flip all these switches again because they're all gonna be out of place. And almost there. Oh, you know what? We need to check the we need to check the pins on this. So we have a pin on that. We need to not have one. See, we have one on there. Oh, is that the other one? That isn't it. Okay. All right. The link. That's what it is. That's called the link. I knew that. <laughs> I was just testing you. All right. And... There we go. All right. That was about the most perfect lineup I've ever seen. All right. So we can take the brake off of this back car. And then we need to flip this switch here. And then we're going to go that way and we're going to go left. Right? We're going to go port. <laughs> and we're going to push. Oh, man. This is just asking for trouble. This is totally just asking for trouble. All right. Is my engine on the other end? I mean, what we can do is, you know what? Let's set the brakes on this. We're gonna set the brakes on this. We're gonna put a pin in this one and we're gonna come up this way. So we're gonna come around the other way. Is that, no, is that right? I'm totally lost as to which direction. No, no, the cars are coming first. No, that's right. Okay. Yep, the cars are coming first. Was that one off the track? Is that why I was doing that? Okay, so we have a pin on that one. We need to not have a pin on this one then. So we'll take that out. Brakes are off. Make sure our brakes are off on this car on this end. 
All right, we're good. I think we're good. There we go. And this is going to be a little tricky. I might need to bring the porter around to pull those a little bit so that we're not trying to jam everything around that corner. It might be a wise idea to do that, but we'll try it anyway. <laughs> when was I into wise ideas, right? <laughs> All right, wise ideas are for real life. This is gaming. <laughs> okay. What's the big idea? Okay. Big ideas are had by wise guys, not wise ideas by big guys, something like that. Okay, we're going to very, very gently come around this corner so that we don't explode. Okay, almost there. Is it going to let me? Just the tiniest bit of push. There we go. Alright. We are connected. Let's see if we can hook this up. This puppy up. Alright. Let's get the brakes off. Make sure all of our brakes are off on the whole train. Because that would definitely uh, derail everything if we get the all of the... Yeah, see? That would be a disaster if we let that go like that. Okay, see, it's even expanding out a little bit because of that. All right, we're going to very, very gently push everything around the corner. Basically the lightest that we can get and still get it to move. So we'll see what we can do here. Four, six... Eight, twelve, fourteen. <laughs> it's gonna break free at some point, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I need to bring, need my brakes off. That's why. Let's try four percent. There we go. Very gently. We're gonna go back off to two. At least until we get around this corner. This corner is like the worst corner out of all the stuff that I built, I think. <laughs> Maybe with the exception of the one up at the, the iron mine, because that one was pretty nasty too. But yeah. Now how many cars do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we have twelve now. Yeah, because we brought two and we bought four. That's six, and we had six. Cool, I think we're gonna make it around the corner. Dude, this thing doesn't even want to stay on the tracks. On this corner, I think. Or is that the Eureka that really freaks out about this? I think the wheels come off at one point. Nope, guess not. Okay. All right, cool. I think we are good. See, I said 45, 45 to 50 minutes and yep, we're 43, so. I'm going to just get this kind of up the hill, but that's going to be it for episode 63. Join me in episode 64. Yeah, let's get this up the hill. We're going to go do another big log run, and we'll get this thing filled up so that we can uh, do the next thing. So yeah, join me in episode 64, and we'll see you then. Later.